guys, welcome back. And today we're going to talk to you about our feeders and how we care for them. And today we're also going to include um, a clean and a feed today, aren't we? Right, so the main things we're going to need, let's just scooch you back, is we're going to need a separate tub to put them all in. And then we're going to need some clean egg crates, which we've got from... You could get from eBay or Amazon, really. And we've got some organic oat bread. And then just some little tools that you can use. So I'm using a sieve, so then we can get rid of all the uh, old oat bran. And also catch the eggs inside. And just some makeshift scoop. Could be anything really. So let's get into it. So here we have our turkey stand. This is your favourite bit, isn't it? <laughs> Bella, you hate turkey stand. I just want to put them in the <laughs> Okay. Well, they won't hurt you, so it's fine. So, yeah, we've got all the eight crates. We could actually probably reuse these because they're not looking that bad. But yeah. You can see we've got quite a few little babies in there. So Some that, adults as well. Is that a mark? And we've got one trying to crawl on the end. And it has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bella doesn't like them. Get it off. But they don't, they don't mind with me. You just flick them off. How easy is that, Bella? Right. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to clean them. Is that a mark? Like, that is a mark, madam. Ooh. So, let's get to it. Oh, did the roach that came out. But, Dad did the rope that came out! Where? It went on the rare! Yeah. I saw it! Are you sure? Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Grab the top! <laughs> I swear I'm scared! Oi! <laughs> I'll sort it now. It was that Why little tiny jump? one there. But it jumped! It jumped How off my hand as well. But yeah, now after the that little... Did jump? Well, that one did. It just tried to jump off me. Is it a right. flying one? I swear, I'm gonna die. Probably well, nailed then. You're fine. Probably nailed Didn't then. kill you, did it? Well, yeah, it did. Did it? It almost gave me a heart attack. Right. Okay. Let's sort all this stuff. I feel like that's the nail because it just jumped. <laughs> I'm going to try and get them all in there. And what we're going to do as well is try a little trick. I'm just going to shut the top. I thought about my helpers. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Find it. So you can usually yeah. just tap them up. You better not do that finger. Alright, now I need oh, to gosh. check. There's a few eggs in there. Oh, don't run away, Pinko. You just came out to miss things on this dad wall. Probably missed it. Oh, there are a few eggs in there, aren't there? Yeah, do not. You know what? Right, so we're going to do that step pretty much for all of them. Do not. Let me check there's no do more that. babies. Do not nope. do that thing though. What thing? <laughs> what thing? Don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze any eggs again. No, I'm not going to squeeze them. That was by mistake. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was. Bad it was. Yep. So we're just going to skip ahead after doing all okay, Just the rest of these eggs on the crates. Yeah, that's fine. How can we climb it? It's probably because it's rough. Yeah, it is. It's rough on the edge, you see. Just get rid of That's empty. It's empty. Oh, that's a good one. That's rotten. 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 How can you tell they're rotten? Because the rotten ones are hollow. Like what? So giving them a little tiny squeeze, you can tell that one's Why is not. Why there something red there? Where? Then... The little red bottle? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you that. Is it that bee? Right. Is it those little thing that hit the bottle? Yeah, it's these aqua bottles that we got. I so we use them as well one. for hydration. I just want to squish them. But we'll feed them after we've rehoused them. I want to squish 
Squish one of those hydration bottles. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do need to be careful of is tubs like this. Wait, so this oh, side. Dad, Dad, look, one of them are having an egg, I think. Oh. That's cool. It's giving birth, isn't it? So if it's rough, you can see the difference of contrast. Oh yeah, there. Now. and the transparency. So that is actually that pretty is rough, sick. and that's where they're actually climbing up on. And I'll show I'll you just now. I'll leave it alone because it's having an egg, you know that. So you can actually see them along this side climbing up, just there. All the little ones on the side. As you can see, they are climbing out. It is slightly rough, but it is temporary because I'm going to put them back into their permanent homes. But if you do want to start your own colonies. Just make sure the tubs you use are smooth on the inside. Right. No. That is beautiful. Take out the dead eggs. That's why I'm doing that. I feel bad about uh, the eggs. I'll be alive and then I use it. You can make it a move. Yeah, they're pretty durable. There we go. Now Whoa, we can see about all the poo. But there's a baby in every poo. That's fine, because you know what we're going to do. They're going to die! Why not? Go get one of those oranges. Oh no, don't. So I need to. So we've got loads of eggs there. A few nothing. dead bodies. Do not say that. <laughs> yeah, there's a few dead no. bodies. Or molts. I pop that for dead bodies. <laughs> Somebody committed murder. Who committed murder in there? I'm not bothered about the empty eggshells. I think that's the mayo. The mayo is sus, though. The mayo is sus, is it? You know why? You remember that time when he was <clears throat> biting an egg into his teeth? Mm hmm. And I was trying to protect that egg. I feel like that male lives very soft. Can we vote that male off to the garbage? Right. Vote the male off. Don't worry. Let's get rid of the main skeletons and rubbish. Right. Oh, just don't have skeletons. Oh. <laughs> skeletons, I'm sure. No. no? Well, I don't know why I'm holding it. <laughs> it's not going to plant this, is it? Right. Even so oh all the God. babies that are in here. Look, can you hear that noise? Yeah. You'll get up that egg. Oh, I can't get a Mm-hmm. Right, so there's a few babies in here that are going to fall through, which is fine, because what daddy's going to do that smell. <laughs> is let them fall through, not bothered. I don't know if a small or simple work. Oh, I can you hear that noise? Like, it's so, so annoying, that noise. Give me a little tap. Stop that noise, tap, 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 or I'll stuff your face in the roach pit. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead when I finish this. So, yeah. Sieved out all the bram. And as you can see, there's quite a few little babies in there. I don't know if you can see that properly. See them squirming about there. Right, so my idea is I'm going to put an orange in there. Leave them to find it, get on it, and then I could possibly shake them. It might take a bit of time. Don't know. But we're going to try it anyway. Because I think uh, what I'd have to do is get the thinner sieve otherwise. But in the meantime, I'm going to push that to one side, see if that idea works. If not, c'est la vie. Um, so, I've already cleaned it, gave it a quick wipe down, uh, you, you don't want to add any cleaning products, just a clean cloth will do the job, 
And right now we want the bran. So we want to stick a bit of bran in. I like this from eBay, as I've mentioned before. This will give them a bit of extra food. And then you can just add oranges and whatever. I tend to keep it at the back. So then it's a bit easier when you're putting oranges in and stuff like that. What is that easy really? Is it? It's just it's my way. Don't have to do it my way, do it any way you want. You can fill it all up. And just stick a few of these in. How many do you reckon, madam? Five? Yeah, I reckon. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we've got, we can put more than five in. We can put six in if you want, because they are growing pretty quick, aren't they? Okay. They've exploded. Since we've added the bran in, they've exploded so much, aren't they, madam? Yeah. They've just bred like wild. And I actually took all the males out and fed them off because they were exploding so much. I wanted to try and slow it down. Well, that didn't work now, did it, madam? And I think that one... And then I've got this. This is just um, was it? It was just a sandwich tub, weren't it, madam? Yeah. And then I just cut it down so it's shallow. Pop that in there, and then those water H two O bottles. I put a few in there. Put a couple in, you don't need a lot. And they I will bounce, so them. be careful. I just want to smush them. <laughs> I know you do, madam. I just want to smush right. them So what we can do is put a lid on those babies for now. They're not a lid because I think the next lot that we do won't be as hard. Right. Now here's the others. Here's all the turkeys. Now all you need to do down to one corner and just pour them in and voila come on is there any more in there yes there is of course there is put the sides babies come on dude there you go and there's a few babies on there as well right so what i'll do is get nope, a little couch work. cup. Did that work? No. Oh, I'm this just going to shake all the eggs down onto the bottom. Because they seem to like to lay them near the bottom. And I've seen so many at the bottom. Yeah, I've got well, one. Well, there we go. Oh Put the lid on. You need a lot of insulation for these dudes. And for the dubious, really, as well you don't want to get moisture in here and all we've done is on our racking we've put a heat mat at the bottom it's a seven watt one cracked it up full blast and then we just leave them to it no, don't we hmm? do the dubious okay now time for these big boys go on then you know what you're doing now anyway, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the kettle's pink and they're tiny. Well, these are the one that, if these are at least ready for magic too. These are a lot bigger and they did have babies as well. Oh yeah, I remember that. So, we just thought, we just see some. Yeah. Right. So these big where are the boys where the are the dubious. Where are the babies? So oh, these the ones, ones, these ones with the little wings, are the females. Look, the and you can see ones. a few babies. The big juicy ones. Yeah, yes, yeah, the big juicy ones. We'll and they started breeding recently. 
I don't know if you can get a good oh look God, at that, but there you go, a little bit closer. So, I'll try and get one on my hand. You, you said you were going to hold it. Well, come on. I am. Well, get on me. Well, I've got a baby no, one. Not on me. Yeah. Oh, God, Tina's man. Come on. <laughs> so, Tina's dead, man. It's the life out of this me. This one is a male. Yeah, they so are You can male. see the difference with the wings. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So yeah, they're not playing ball. Boom. Right, so these should be easier to rehouse because the babies are a lot bigger. So if you can see them here, see those babies there? They're a lot bigger than the turkey stands. Yeah. So I'm hoping this will go a lot smoothly. But yet again, same process. Let's get the other top. But the dubious. What madam? Oh, so I already bought this one, this tub, before we even decided to get doobies, didn't we? Because we what we were gonna do is just transfer the egg crates into this one and have two colonies of turkeys. But then we thought because we got skeletal, yeah. we needed some a bit bigger Did than we, the turkeys. He would eat loads of them, wouldn't he? He would like eat five. But what you need to do is make sure <laughs> it's dark. They Did hate the light. Should I turn the light off? No, it'll be alright. I need the lights to see. <laughs> but yep, yeah, same process again. Just Ooh, shake them out. What I will do actually is because. Oh, God, why does that smell more worse than the food? Hmm? They stink more. I can't smell anything, madam. I can! Can you? I'm gonna die. Right, same process again, just shake it out. Really simple. That's empty and oh, the filth, they poop a lot. Oh god, don't talk about that. Oh, poop? I had ideas. Oh, give over. I actually did one. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with the world, madam. Oh no. These are so much easier to use. I'm not going to bore you with the process all over again. It's exactly the same as the turkey stands. But I'm going to give you a few close-ups of these. So if you don't know what they look like, now you do. See that dude there? He's got wings. So he's a male. And you can see the females. I don't know if that's mature or not. That one is there. They have smaller wings. Now these are pretty big compared to my fingers and hands, which are brilliant for tarantulas like uh, our Asamani because they're a lot bigger and you don't have to feed them as much with these. And the little ones are just as good for, for a bit bigger slings, what, four inch slings, they could probably take them down with no problem. But it's the same with turkey stand roaches as well. Whichever ones have the wings are the males. I do like turkey stands to feed off on because they are faster. But same again, heat mat, stick it down, put it on full whack and just leave them be. Make sure they're in a dark place. That's why I put them on the bottom. So they're not getting as much light and I'll give you a close up of these turkeys as well because you didn't really get a good view but the, there's all the eggs I don't know if they're empty or not we did actually see one hatch oh and we got a malt we've got another male malted Ooh. so he's malted into a male hence the wings but these That's have cool. seriously exploded they have been breeding so much Dad. and they are very fast Daddy. so we like yes madam um so that's how big they are when, when yeah they are when they're when they're adults they're not very big so you can see that that dark colored female there they're not that big compared to your hand see there's my hand and there's a female so they're not that big they're great for juvies and if you want to see your tarantula hunt, 
then I definitely recommend turkeys because they do run around and they will run rapid around the enclosures hope you enjoyed the video guys leave us a thumbs up if you did uh, if you haven't already then subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, I hope you all have a great week see you soon bye